The following is a production of QTV. Welcome to the Credit Union National Update, your source for the news that matters most to credit unions. I'm Angel Bailey. This is a report for the week of October 14th. Call it a sneak peek. We now know what to expect from the NCUA when it unveils its long-awaited examination changes for credit unions. In a letter to credit unions, the agency said these changes will streamline exam reports and set clear expectations for credit unions and examiners. In particular, the agency plans to separate the document of resolution and the examiner's findings sections of the exam reports into standalone documents. This change is designed to help distinguish between major and minor issues to prioritize corrective action. These other changes will be rolled out on January 1st. It's been two weeks now since the National Credit Union Foundation activated its online disaster relief system to help victims of Colorado floods. And while the response has been great, more is still needed. The NCUS says it has already received over $200,000 in grant requests from people in Colorado impacted by the flooding, but so far only has about 40% of the funds needed to help. Take a look at the devastation a longtime member of Elevation Credit Union in Boulder is facing. And with dozens more stories like this, the NCUF is now making an urgent appeal for help. To make a donation, just go to cuaid.coop. If your credit union has its party hat on in honor of International Credit Union Week, you're not alone. More than 196 million credit union members in 100 countries will unite for good in celebration of the credit union difference this week. Many have special events and giveaways planned to thank their members. And for the second year in a row, dozens of credit unions in Michigan will take part in a statewide cash mob called CU Lunch Local to highlight the credit union community's support for local businesses. The highly successful program has also spread to Louisiana and Ohio this year. Benjamin Franklin gets a facelift and a new lease on life. On Tuesday, October 8th, the Federal Reserve began supplying banks with billions of newly designed $100 bills. The new design incorporates two new security features with images of bells and 100s, along with a color-changing bell in an in inkwell. The note, which will retain the image of Benjamin Franklin, will keep security features from the previous design, such as a watermark. These changes have been in development since 2003 and will make it easier to authenticate, but harder to replicate the bell. U.S. officials have said the $100 note is one of the most frequently counterfeited of U.S. currency outside of the U.S., due to its broad circulation overseas, and are among the highest denominated notes issued by the Federal Reserve. Also note that people with old bills do not need to trade them in for new ones, since all designs of U.S. currency will remain legal tender. Finally, in this week's CU Community Spotlight, one California credit union gives new means to casual jeans day. American Christian CU of Glendora, California participated in the annual Miracle Jeans Day a fundraiser encouraging groups and individuals to trade their traditional work attire for jeans to help raise funds for kids treated at Children's Miracle Network hospitals in their area. The credit union raised over $7,000 for the Children's Miracle Network, and since 2009, Miracle Jeans Day has helped raise more than $1.4 million to help fund life-saving medical needs in CMN hospitals. This has been the Credit Union National Update. Until next time, thanks for watching. Cube TV is the credit union broadcast experience, powered by CU Solutions Group. Stay tuned.